All right, I'm just gonna be doing a simple tutorial. Now, a lot of people, they don't understand, or I see a lot of people, they don't have their kicks hard, or they don't go through the beat, they're not punchy enough, and they're hardly ever noticed, or sometimes they're just too loud, but they aren't punchy, they're just too loud. I, I don't know, this doesn't make sense. So I'm just doing a quick tutorial here, and I'm going to be uh, showing you how to make those kicks more punchy. So first off, this is just the beat I'm uh, making it on right now. It is uh, kind of a take K YB in the mirror. It's just a hard beat like a punchy beat in general So uh, As you can see you can barely hear the punch of the kick you can barely hear the kick at all and so the first thing you want to do is uh, make the difference between the kick and the 808. You probably want to level it out. I like to have the 808, you know, 6 through 10 dB below the actual uh, kick so then you can hear it better. Another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to side chain the kick to the 808 and what you're going to do with that is you're going to go to the bottom of the kick where you can see the routing and you're just going to right click and su uh, send it to the uh, 808 and then you're going to open a fruity limiter go into the compressor and then click the the kick and you lower your threshold and make your ratio go up more you can see on the graph uh, how it kind of side chains it and so obviously you'll be able to hear the kick better um, I don't, I'm not that good at explaining it but I hope you can see what I mean to the visual here uh, so after that, it, already your uh, kick's a little bit more punchy, but you can also increase the velocity of the kick, and this will help it uh, sort of, it's just going to increase the volume and make it a little bit more distorted, and so that sounds like this. So after that, you're going to want to go into a fruity fast distort or any type of distortion you can get, and you want to put a good amount of distortion on there, but you don't want to put a whole lot to the point where it's gonna change what the kick sounds like. So this is the before, and this is after. So I hope that part makes sense. Then you're gonna wanna open up a wave shaper or any type of thing where you can change the uh, shape of the wave. And so I'm just using this, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want it to put more saturation on it, and you can use the presets, hard saturation or distortion, anything like that. Uh, I just use this one right here. So this is what it sounds like before. And this is what it sounds like after. So what that is going to do is that that's going to make it a lot more punchy. It adds a lot more frequency to that kick. And then the last thing I want to do is, since you have a lot of unwanted frequencies now with all the stuff you're doing to the kick, you're just going to do a simple EQ and kind of cut off the high ends about halfway. So that's what it sounds like before, and that's what it sounds like after. So I'm just going to play the beat now, I'm going to build it out live as this is happening, and you can see kind of what I do for when I add variation as well.